Lawmakers are looking to crack down on illegal ink. Yes, we're talking about shady tattoo parlors. Local tattoo artists are held to high standards to maintain clean, healthy environments. But there are some places that are not following all of the rules. And local lawmakers warn these places may be putting your life at risk. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Sierra Johnson breaks it down for us. If you can go on eBay right now and buy a complete kit with two tattoo machines, inks, power supply, needles, and everything for under, under $100. It's an action that makes the owner of Cheektowaga based styling tattoo, well, cringe. Quite a few people coming in lately, uh, parents bringing their kids in, they're 14 to 16, with tattoos they've gotten out of somebody's basement. Basements, kitchens, even back porches, he's heard it all. Unlicensed tattoo artists buying equipment online and putting ink to skin any and everywhere. He says these fly-by-night artists are holding tattoo parties, often sharing ink wells or equipment and sometimes highly infectious diseases. There's nothing on the books as far as any kind of uh, a criminal charge it could be considered, and I, I think it could be considered an assault. And that's why Nadescu reached out to Erie County legislator Pat Burke, who is now pushing a bill that would work to prevent so-called underground tattooing. Maybe an underground tattoo shop, they're not thinking about, the, you know, they're contributing to the spread of, of some nasty stuff. Legislator Burke calls the proposed law common sense legislation. Burke says right now the most a tattoo artist could be hit with is a health code violation. The proposed law would make unlicensed tattooing a misdemeanor crime. Legislator Burke says the proposed law will now go to a committee and from there a public discussion, hearing and then a vote at full session. And the local tattoo shop owner I spoke with says this issue is one of public safety. He says he's hoping this proposed legislation helps to protect those interested in the art and keep them safe. In Chief Dewaga, Sierra Johnson, 7 Eyewitness News.